So y equals negative 6. And we may be wondering, is this in slope-intercept form? It is. It's just y equals... Right now we got negative 6, right? So what happened to the x's? It just means there are no x's. So again, it's a phantom 0 thing. Because anything times 0 is 0. So uh, 0 x will work. Which means that we do have a y-intercept at 0, negative 6. Which would be right here. And then what is the slope? It's zero. Now you can put it zero over anything, like even one. You can put over 10 if you'd like. Um, almost for convenience. I'm going to use five, though. But you'll see why here in a second. So from that purple point, I'm going to go up zero and then to the right five. Which is this point. Up zero to the right five. There it is. And yeah, this one's not hard to copy to the left either because it's just a flat line, right? And that's what it means to have a zero slope is that it's just a flat line, so we get something like this. Bam. Now, you, you didn't necessarily need to change this in a slope-intercept form. If you knew y equals negative 6, you should know that it goes through the y number line, which is the y-axis, at negative 6 right here. And it's just a flat line. Okay, If you ever get y equals just a number, it's just a flat line like this. So what does that mean if we get x equals?